drift ahead of you, please. Occupy it. Let's leave just the two rows for the family. We are starting this program with opening prayer. And to lead us in the opening prayer is going to be one of our beloved pastors, Pastor Gideon Oluwa Manure. Yes, sir. Let us pray. Glorious Father, we are here this morning again to thank you for how far you have helped us, how far you have helped our mother, how far you have helped the family. We give you glory for the way you helped us yesterday through the Wicked program. All glory, honor be unto you. Accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Thank you for everyone of us that you have brought here, here again this morning. We return all glory unto you. We say, Blessed be your name. Lord, we commit to this um, program with your hand. We pray, Lord, you take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. From now up to interment, Lord, take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. And at the end of today, we will have the cause to glorify your name. As we declare today's program open in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Our hallelujah is too small for this season. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. A better. That's what I That's what I
we all live and sing unto him in Jesus' name. Let us be seated. Let us be joyfully seated in this glorious occasion. About now, I want to take announcement. And to lead us in the announcement is our beloved pastor, Pastor Olua Femi Bas. Praise God. Praise Jesus. For this program that is coming to us tonight at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. That is 3:65 at the day. Today is the day we are shouting 3:65 Hallelujah to our maker. Please, we want us, we want you to join us on this program in Bon FM. Eco FM and Radio FM tonight, and all your Facebook, Instagram, join us there. And our our headquarters located at Ebuti uh, Ibubu Road. At along after Ibishiran about the go, going towards Ibuti, that is where our church is. And our service go like this on Sunday. We have three services. Which will start by 8 a.m. in the morning to 9:30, from 10 to 11 and 12. That is the time we have the weekly service, and uh, our weekly service is where is it? In mission hours, which started by uh, started for 6 p.m. Always on Thursday we normally do a program we call Happy Hand. Without the hand of God, there is nowhere every one of us can go. With God, we can go far on this earth. So that is why we tied the program to the heavy hand, Thursday, 7 a.m. And uh, concerning to this program, as we finish service here, we will just move the cup down to Igubu Moshuari, uh, Igubu Cemetery there, to do the final uh, service for our moment. Praise God. If any uh, announcement come, we we'll let you to know. Praise the Lord. Like our pastor had rightly announced, immediately we round off here. We shall be moving down to the cemetery, the Bubu Cemetery there, to put Mama in our final, the final place of our abode. For as many that will be chanced, please, we want you to follow us so that we do the Final, final for Mama. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Also, we have a program that we normally run every January for 21 days. We have a, a daily prayer revival, we call it, over to God. That is the time we commit our new year into the hands of the Lord. And by the grace of God, the edition of year 2022 will start from the 10th of January through to 31st January. The time, as usual, is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every day. No Saturday, no Sunday. Every day we converge to commit our days unto our new year unto the hands of the Lord in the program we call uh, Over to God. We look forward to receiving you in this year's edition. And as you come, you will see the hand of God in your, in your life and family in Jesus' name. So about now, we want to do something that is very cogent, like our pa my pastor do always say whenever we gather here, that whenever God gathers his people, he can help but to send his word. And like I told us yesterday when we converged, that any word we share in a location like this is not for the dead, but for the living, because the Bible says it has been written for every one of us to die. How many times? Once. Only once. So the moment a man or a woman closes his or eyes in death, there is no amount of exhortation. So the exhortation you are about to hear now is for you and I. I want to plead with you. Give rapt attention to every word that will be proceeding out of the mouth of the servant of God. And the Lord God will bless you tremendously in the mighty name of Jesus. To bring us the word of exhortation this morning is going to be our one of our assistant senior pastors. Pastor Ezekiel Luanigbenega Ogunleye. Praise the Lord. I want a better one. Praise the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I can't understand the type of uh, looks we are wearing. I want us to smile. You know, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today, I believe God will be speaking to us. Because anything we are doing here today is for you and I. If a man or a woman is crying now, if we kill 20 cows, if somebody should come here and sing for us, it's still for you and I. Praise the Lord. Not for Mama again. Praise the Lord. And I'm praying for you that we not have any reason to sorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the year is coming to an end, your destiny will not come to an end. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want us to start with the words of Apostle Paul in the scripture. Okay. Yes, I got a call Yes, come on, read for us. You read chapter 4 here. Verse, okay. Second Timothy, yes. Uh, read start from 6 to 8. Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Adige Akoride. I'm reading the Bible verse from Timothy. I'm reading the Bible from Timothy. Timothy 4, 46 to 8. It says, For I am ready, I'm, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight, and I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on the day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. God bless you. Amen. I say God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we know where we have just read, Apostle Paul was one of those few privileged. To have this opportunity. While he was still alive, he knew the hour and the time of his departure. Praise the Lord. He knew that his time was up. Either a man has this opportunity, this grace or not, what I want to bring out today is that life is a race. Life is a journey. And life can be compared to a course. Praise the Lord. And he said, I, Apostle Paul, I have finished my course. He has come to the end of the race. I want to tell you, people of God, this morning, that no matter what, no matter the wisdom, life is a course that you and I want to finish. You might not want to hear it. You are still young. You are still aspiring. You know, many things are still before you. I am praying for you. You will fulfill it. Amen. I want a better amen. amen. Some years back, I was small in the village. I was living with my grandmother. She was full of life. Anytime I offended her, she would run after me. At times she would you know, she would bite me. Many things. And there are many things she was saying then. I know more commonly born. Oh, I'm a bow only 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 a chum room fear. Only I'm talking to you know all those things. Praise the Lord. So about 15 years, totally before you know he died, she died, I was with her. She was like a skeleton. We wanted to, you know, snap, you know, a picture. They had to put pillow here, pillow here. I began to look at her, her dead bed shoulder. 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. You know she, 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 you know, she sings and she can drum and this uh, local drums. I was remembering those days when I by you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And uh, anytime I see my mom, I would hold her like this. I would just be I was looking at her. And I told her, I told her, I told her, I hey, Lord, we go come. And I told her, you know, or I told her, I told her, I told her. So she was even, you know, liking to what? To depart. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What you will tell her some years back, you say, ah, God, what? God forbid. She was even what? You know, you know, expecting it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Life is a course. Life is a race. A man will take the baton and begin to run. The man of God says, I have fought a good fight. A man can be living his life his days and be fighting a good fight. Because life is a fight. You fought to wake up this morning. You fought to get married. You fought to achieve. You fought, you know, you know it's a fight. A fight. Doctors will tell you that there are many sicknesses in the air. You are fighting to survive them. I am praying for you. You will survive. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There's one word there. I have kept the faith. It is this man of God saying this. I believe God was showing him, was giving him the revelation. Can God say of you and I that we have fought a good fight and that we have kept the faith? But shortly after this, he was talking about a crown. A man that has not kept the faith cannot expect any crown. The Bible says, if only here on this earth we have hope. He said, we are more than miserable. Praise the Lord. After this word, after this one, we are Otuku. Are you keeping the faith? Are you living your life in Christ Jesus? How are you living your life? How am I living my life? Am I a stumbling block to others? Am I a killer in the secret places? Mama had finished our course. The certificate is in the hands of God, who sees all things. The one that can never be deceived, for the Bible says, Be ye not deceived. Whatsoever a man sweat, he shall reap. The crown is with God. The certificate of the of the course that I have began about 79 years ago and finished some weeks ago is in the hands of God. Would that God be pleased with you and with, with me to release the certificate? That this is the certificate to when you are going, go to the right into your eternal bliss. Or to be no certificate. And they will ask, where is the certificate? I pray for you. It will not be your portion. Amen. The book of Hebrews says something that frightens me a lot. The Bible says that, let me paraphrase it now, that man will fall into the hands of God. A man can fall into the hands of man. I remember some years a woman was having problem, no issues with me. I never had issues with her. Because I've never seen where I came from a kitty. We are a boy of 20 years. We asked woman sleep a woman of 60 years. I've never seen it. The woman said I'm tall. Yeah, she come, she come close. I said, Mom, she don't you never meet me. Praise the Lord. And she locked me up for about two weeks. Only my dear wolf Praise the Lord. And a man came, he said, What you are telling me, I believe is true. He said, Do like this. 
And the man came to my rescue. And the man fought for me. A man can fall into the hands of man. And man will say what? Do like this. And nothing will happen. A man can fall into the hands of another man. And God will say, do what? Calm down. And nothing will happen. But when a man falls into the hands of God. Amen. And on the day of judgment. You and I. We fall into his hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the only saving grace is if you have kept the faith. For the Bible says, it is appointed, Hebrews 9.27, unto man to die how many times? And after this death is what? Judgment. That judgment will now determine whether there will be a crown, a certificate, or what? Or not. But they will deceive you. That somebody died in the kitty. They saw him in Kano. I saw him after my, after the day Republic. They don't see them very close. They say very, very far, far away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible cannot be broken. It is appointed unto man to die many times. After death is what? Judgment. If you and I will face God in judgment, what do you think will be the verdict? That is the place where mercy will not work again. Mercy, you know what? The only thing is that have you kept the faith? Have you lived your life in accordance with the scripture? If you are a wish, that day will be a terrible day. If you are a backbiter, manly skipper, I want I the oro, I want to panic. That day will be a terrible day. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I don't want to stop the sermon. You know, the Bible says it is better to go to where they are export money than the place of what? Feasting. He said that men might what? Put it what? To hearts. There is an end for everyone. You will release the button one day. And one day I will release it. Who even know who is the next? How I wish will be wise. That's one of my best scriptures. And they will consider their end. But how I wish we are wise. We live every second as if we not see the next second. Because life is a what? And let me close by saying this. When we talk about course, about races, I have seen 100 meter race. I mean, not everybody will reach 80. Amen. 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 Course. I've seen somebody that came to UI and he spent 18 months there and said he has finished, he has finished his course. I asked him that are there 12 years. Praise the Lord. Oko, the chemistry, Obosi, mathematics, what's the math? Obosi, you're about your Praise the Lord. Amen. 12 years. Who are you? I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. Praise the Lord. Mama came. She's ran a fairly long course. And the end has come. To meet with our God. Prayers will not suffice. You know what? If you give me money now to be praying for Mama, I will take your money, I will return to you, and I will call you somewhere. And God will go. Because if that is the case, I will return the money. If that is the case, let us be doing evil. Make a machine below now. Abi, how they make people go to do insurance? We don't want to attend law. We don't want to go to the pastor. To back bono, to not know it. To the, to the people who are doing what we, to back what we want. Abi, Abi sir, but God cannot be what mocked. Whatever you sow, whatever I sow, I will reap. The end has come to Mama's cause. There can't be a man's share come. There's no man. Grandchildren and the family of Mama will stand up. And uh, being seated does not mean that we are not going to echo our amen to join them. Shall be well. Amen. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Said in all things we should thank you. Yes, Lord. And the reason why we are thanking you. Blessed be your name in Jesus' name. Amen. 
we are not gathering together to be asked to supply blood or to supply another kidney for Mama. Mama had gone home peacefully. Lord, we say thank you. Receive the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, we are praying for the children, grandchildren, and the family that the hand of the Lord will secure your life. Amen. The hand of Jehovah will secure your life. Amen. The presence Amen. We we end where? And at the day of reckoning, at the day of accountability, at the day when we are going to be called up to come and give the account of what we did on the earth, we will not regret. Amen. We will not lament. Amen. We will not be disappointed. Amen. In heaven, our name will not be removed. Amen. In the kingdom of God, we will be there. Amen. In the kingdom of God, we will not be found wanting. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Rest of what we are going to do in this program, Lord, take over. Amen. Take charge. Amen. The time we are returning back to come and wine, dine, and eat, and drink, Lord, you will take charge. Amen. There will not be any regret in this ceremony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well. Thank you for answering. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Let us be seated. Mama, so the journey, and one of your one of them, and one of the body of the brother, and then the mass of So, the family member, please. Please let us be orderly. We we'll just move around. We we'll move around. Just respect, turn, and go. As you see my masters, just go back to your seat orderly. We are three minutes to do this.
know. Paparazzi, photographers, it's okay. When Mama was around, she didn't see you people. <laughs> Evangelist, I'm here to get the memo. And my brother, um, Canada, Sheo, we all want to say a big thank you to everybody for coming to pay this last respect. We thank you for it. We thank um, the Blair family, the Onodaio, the Oshitel. I wish I could mention everybody. Please uh, forgive me if I miss any names. I pray that uh, we we'll always gather for. Good, uh, for the for good, um, for good purposes, uh, I um, and if you will, so for our thank you, praise the Lord.
Jesus, we are taking the hymn now, Abide With Me. Uh, sorry? Shall we gather at the river? Sorry? Shall we gather at the river? The choir, please. La, 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 Shall we gather at the river where bright angels fields have trod? With his crystal tide forever flowing by the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather, yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. King. We will walk and worship ever. Is there footsteps following? Yes, we'll get up. Yes, we'll come on the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. Come on with the sand of the river that flows by the throne of God. We gain the river, lay we every burden down. Jesus came from Saint Deliver, those whom where thy grace will crown. Yes, we'll gather, yes, we'll gather on the river, the beautiful, the beautiful river. Crystal River, soon I bring you make you see. Soon I go the nostrils quiver with the melody of peace. 
Yes, we'll gather. Yes, we'll gather on the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. Gather with the sons of the river that flows by the throne of God. We shall gather at the river, and I pray that you and I will not be missing in the name of Jesus. Amen. About now again, we are going to have here a very brief exhortation for the next 10 minutes. Our pastor will be giving us the word of exhortation. 